We are Bazinga. What does that even mean? We are the Backroom Comics Podcast, and we are less than professional, so we're not actually sending anybody to San Diego this year for Comic-Con. Uh, but we'll talk about it, give you a little preview in case some of you are headed down or people just want to know what to check out online afterwards for reviews. Um, the big thing that I noticed, one of the big promotional things is all through the gas lamp, all through San Diego, Tron Legacy posters. Ooh. Tron does not come out until December, but Disney is promoting the heck out of it. What? Disney is promoting the heck out of something? I find that hard to believe. Right, I know. But so that's, and it's not San Diego Comic Con posters, it's Tron Legacy posters all throughout San, downtown San Diego. Ooh. So that's uh, something that I guess, I, I presume there will be, I, I didn't get a chance to see if there's a panel or anything special, but that's really, you know, I, maybe another trailer. Sure. Yeah, why not? Sure. Another teaser. So let's talk about some of the special guests. Yes. Who, who uh, else is going to be there? Who's, who's the big one that you're excited about? Uh, Since we're not going. Well, I, I just grabbed a bunch of alphabetical names. Neil Adams uh, just started a 12-part uh, Batman Odyssey mini. Mm-hmm. Um, really good. He's doing the writing and the art. And okay. I guess he's bringing his entire family, because everybody in his family is involved in comics in some way. The Adams family? Exactly. So there's an Adams family uh, reunion thing going on there. Uh, Sergio Aragonas. Oh, uh, group. Grew. And, Mad uh, Magazine. Yep. And briefly on the spirit, and I didn't actually like his run on the spirit that much because it's a little, his art is very unique and I really like it, but out of context, sometimes it's a little odd. I, I don't see, I don't see uh, Aragonis on a, on a, like a serious title. Right. And a serious is the wrong word. It's probably, it's probably right, a little bit strong. Right, spirit's but always been a little cartoony anyway. A little cartoony anyway. Precisely. Yeah. So, okay. Um, really right. big name, Ray Bradbury, special guest at San Diego. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Um, so he gets his own panel, and that's you know that's pretty awesome in its own way. To, you to you get, can't not give Ray Bradbury his own panel. If he was available and wanted to come, that's you know locked down. Hello, easy. Uh, Peter Baggy, mm-hmm. local Seattle comic star, and uh, still possibly the most popular interview of the Backroom pod- Podcast has ever done. Uh, everybody really likes Peter. A million, a million two hits on that one. Yeah, something like something that. Like that. Um, minus a million or so. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis. Obviously, industry-wide, he's known everything, but he does have a new uh, series just started called Scarlet. Oh, I picked up the number one today. Right, and uh, independent title, not related to the uh, the the similar more to Powers, like where he's doing something else on his oh, own. Okay. This yeah, is yeah. not a GI Joe related. This is an independent character. Right. Um, let's see. Not who, that Scarlet. Exactly. Right. Really cool. Berkeley breathed. Oh my God. Bloom County Opus. Yeah. He uh, IDW is Outland. Cr- Outland. IDW is currently in the process of releasing uh, all the Bloom County strips in a uh, big hardcover there's format. That, there's that gigantic hardcover, yeah. It, right. It's, it's uh, a volume tone. 2 just it's came a... out last month, yeah. and so they're bringing him in to do a Q&A and oh. just sort of chat, because he's not... I don't know that he's doing anything active, because he ended Opus. Yeah. Um, ended. So... They, but they got him, and that's really cool, because I don't know that he does a lot of like comic book appearances, so... Uh, I haven't heard of him doing anything really like this really wish before. I could have been for that. Yeah. Uh Kurt Busiek, mm-hmm. Claire, Chris Claremont, uh, you know, a couple of the bigger guys. Uh, Jim Lee, Stanley, of course, Stan the Man Stan has the man. to make, make his appearance. It's Felicia his Day will be at San Diego. Oh. She unfortunately had to cancel her Emerald City appearance due to work, but that means we get a movie. Yeah, we do. Um, in this case, she's doing a Women on the Web panel. Yes, Women, uh, women on the Web panel, and then they're they're also doing a, uh, uh, it's a special guild guild thing. All the, guild, all the guildies are going to be there, a Q&A. Good idea. Uh, ramping up for season four, right? They're doing improv too. Oh, improv! Well, most of them do improv on their yeah, own. Yeah, that's so. that always seems so made up. Huh. Wah, wah. Um, Matt Fraction, of course, will be there, and again, especially <laughs> since he's writing Invincible Iron Man, and Iron yes. Man seems to be doing well in the theaters. Huh? Iron Man, I've heard of that. Yes. Uh, Nicholas Gerwich, uh-huh. Harry Bible Fellowship. Right, right. Uh, he's writing. He just did something for Marvel, a, a little uh, one of their anthology pieces. Uh, but because Fellowship's over, do you remember the title on that? Because I think it was like really Strange familiar. Tales or something like oh. that. It just you know, a little piece. Um, but it's cool that he's going to be at San Diego because, again, he was not even doing a lot of publicity for the when Perry Bible got collected. No, 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 no. He didn't. Uh, he didn't do anything for that. So, but, uh, so to go to the largest yeah. convention. Yeah. Charlene Harris, author of the Sookie Stackhouse novels, will be in attendance. Uh, yes, True Blood on HBO. Um, so, of course, you got to bring her in. A mm-hmm. bunch of the major uh, TV shows that are popular with comic fans are going to be doing special panels programming. So you right, get right. Uh, Smallville, yep. 
because they're into their last season starting this fall. Yes. Glee is basically bringing all the cast members who didn't get to go to last year's Comic-Con. I think that's pretty much the only reason they're doing it. But hey, good for people who like Glee and want to hang out there. Do you think there's a lot of crossover, a lot of bleed between uh, Glee fans, Glee fans? Gleeks. Gleeks. That's what they're, yeah. Um, I don't and know. Uh, comic book fans? I guess there is because the panel was really popular last year. All right. So I don't know exactly where that, if that's a, a, a comic-wide demographic, but at least there's enough. Because, I mean, I've are... seen Glee. Yes. And not to interrupt you, but I like oh. doing it. Um, I know. And I read comics. Right. And I don't know if the two are, I'm not saying they're mutually exclusive by any means, but right. I, don't, I just can't imagine a well, huge... I don't want to jump ahead too much, but I pretty much have to in that there's You're a related is the big Comic-Con close mm -hmm. is a special screening of Buffy the Musical Ooh. with audience participation. So this is... Uh, so now we're sending someone, and it's me. <laughs> Apparently. Um, so they're doing the musical episode. They're allowing people to interact. Um, so... Yeah. yeah, I don't see how that connects to Glee, really. No, musical theater? No, no. not at all. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Jeannie Schultz, I think, caught your attention. She did. Uh, the, uh, S Charles Schultz's uh, second wife, uh, head of his museum and foundation. Right. Um, she is being brought in, and I don't know exactly what the focus is, because there's nothing special. Like, they're still doing all of the Peanuts re-releases and all right. of that. Um, but I think it's really nice that she's doing a public appearances to help keep his memory going and to remind people of his uh, contribution to comic art. You, you think that, that that's kind of an important thing to keep going, that, that people, yeah. uh, young kids coming up, need to know what the Peanuts are and they need to know who Charles right. Schultz was. And, and his oldest son, Monty, has done a couple of novels. Yes. Um, but it's not in the same... So Jeannie has taken the role as protector of his of Charles' legacy, and I think that's great that you, they Jeannie. brought her in. Good for you, Jeannie. Um J. Michael Straczynski, of course, because he's on Love Superman it. and Wonder Woman now. Yes, he is. So that's a big industry thing. And then uh, Gerard Way. Um, I hate his band with a passion, but um, bro, uh, My Chemical Romance. It's horrible. But uh, he's actually a fairly good comic writer. I kind uh, of like my chemical uh -huh. uh, Umbrella Academy. Oh, uh, Umbrella least, Academy is fantastic. Yeah. I like the first volume a little more than the second. The movie's but, coming up. Yes, and they're doing a movie. So, mm -hmm. of course, you know, and they got him So because he's not on tour, which is, you know, sometimes a tough timing for summer uh with um so they're doing also uh with related to schultz they're doing a big jack kirby tribute Ooh. which is great i hope there's an extensive discussion of no we're going to ignore the lawsuit I yeah think, and move along, move along. Um, Wrap it up. boom studios specifically doing a muppets uh panel which i think shows the popularity still of jim henson's chris. boom this is why i love being on camera with chris um Red, Warren Ellis is Red. Uh, the movie is coming out this fall, so Warren Ellis will be on hand for a panel. I presume Bruce Willis and a couple of the other people from the movie as well. I've heard a lot of complaints about the trailer that they don't think it really aligns itself with the movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, or with the book. With like the, the book, yeah. yeah it, like, I, I, it doesn't sell it to me the way the book was. Yet Ellis is at least is okay enough that he's willing to show up and be part of the panel. So he can't be that. It's not an Alan Moore situation yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um this is something that might catch your eye. Brown coats have a California fan group. Yeah, they do. And they're doing their own panel so people can show up and see what, like, uh, Whedon-esque events are going on, specifically related to Serenity and Firefly. But mm -hmm. uh, the brown coats will be in attendance and having their own panel. Speaking and then, of, speaking of, does anyone, did anyone see the Twitter post uh, from Nathan Fillion where it was him, Adam Baldwin, uh, and the other two guys from, from uh, Firefly yes. had a picture of the book and together. all the rest. I didn't see it, but I'm very interested in that, Kevin. Go Tell to, me more. No, no, no. no. Uh, Nathan Fillion po posted it, and it, and the the post on on there said "Together Again." Does that mean that there is a Firefly reunion coming up? Who they brought knows? Futurama back. They could bring Firefly back. It's always possible. Uh, they will continue I have to, to go. Something just came up. <laughs> yeah, it did. His pants. Um, and then one that we we had to mention this panel because it's something Kevin will love more than all. Growing up with Archie, <laughs> the creators of Archie. And all of the individual people who write the titles for Archie will be in attendance on their own panel. And uh, so San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, there's our little preview. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.